morning and welcome to European Utility Week. With us we have Bradley Williams, Vice President of Industry Strategy from Oracle. Welcome and thank, thank you, you for being with us. Glad to be here. Let's dive straight in. We keep hearing about disruptive technology and innovation within the energy sector. Sure. What kind of trends are you noticing in this? Well, I think, I think one of the biggest one is the adoption of rooftop solar and, and small wind turbines in, at the edge of the grid, near, near, the, near where the customers', customers homes and uh, communities at, at the edge of the grid. So obviously, there's quite an increased uptake of renewable energy. Absolutely. And uh, you know, you mentioned uh, distributed energy as well. Is this something that we're going to see a lot more of? Well, absolutely. And the, we we see more of this in in the actual design of new homes being built, as well as retrofitting existing homes, buildings, uh, and it's just becoming part of the fabric of how things are are are, are evolving and certainly causing significant disruption of traditional uh, utilities at, uh, at the edge of the grid where they don't have the visibility and the ability to control at that far edge, far reaching part of the uh, low voltage networks. Absolutely. So I would assume that this is really impacting on utility risk management frameworks as well. Absolutely, yeah. So, and, and you get, and you, because of the intermittency, you know, these partly cloudy days, for example, you'll see these fluctuation in voltage as the output of the rooftop solar uh, increases, the voltage will go up, and then a cloud will come over and it drops, and, the, and you see these voltage fluctuations that coincide with essentially cloud cover. So it is causing disruption from a, a voltage management, uh, voltage control, but also the issue of protection control uh, with reverse power flow and things like that. A disruptive space indeed. If I can also ask you, Bradley, uh, we spoke about IoT. It's a bit of a buzz term, but what can we expect in terms of, of trends in the space? Yeah, so we, yeah, we, we see the same thing is a tremendous growth of devices out, again, at the edge of the grid, sensors, controls, and it's, it's becoming like, again, part of, part of everyday life where you go buy an appliance today, many times they have IoT enabled uh, uh, devices within the appliances themselves. Whether whether you know you're buying it or not, it's like it comes with that. Yeah. So if you were to go buy a new refrigerator or electric hot water heater, often they they come with a with a, with an app that communicates over IoT to tell you what what the um, the temperatures are, or if you want to go into vacation mode. And so now we see this need to be able to bring this data in and and, and use that as as a as a re energy resource, if you will to optimize and actually mitigate some of the disruption caused by intermittency of rooftop solar, for example. Absolutely. So, tremendous just, opportunity there to be able to capture this, these new sources of data to help optimize uh, the, the edge of the grid. Okay, interesting stuff. A lot of thought-provoking comments there. But if I could just ask about 2019 and maybe the next few years, what kind of trends do you think we'll see? Well, yeah, so, so a couple of things is, um, one is this growth of distributed energy resource management, or what we call DERMS, which is trying to integrate uh, the, the uh, solar and, and small uh, distributed energy resources into the grid model, the grid management, grid optimization model, because it can help mitigate and, and predict where this disruption will occur and mitigate that before it becomes a problem. And that's where this, these IoT components actually brick come into this as well, is if you can get um, appliances or other types of devices to respond to these predicted future forecasted uh, needs, then we can see this as an ecosystem that is, is kind of uh, resolving itself kind of as it goes. And so I think there's um, a, a growth of distributed energy resource management uh, distributed process control, IoT are all enablers to help uh, manage this this whole uh, renewable adoption and s essentially sustainable energy. I do have one final question for you. Uh, if you could see the industry make one change, or if you could perhaps encourage the industry to make one change, what would it be? Yeah, it's a bit of a tough question. It's a great <laughs> question. I think one of the biggest ones is um, making the customer, the end customer, more of an active participant of the grid. And I think in, in, in Europe in particular, we see this as a challenge. Uh, you know, we see retailers or other aggregators, kind of intermediaries 
two utilities, which is fine, but that, that's in, in a sense suboptimal because now the utility has to go through another, another entity in order to engage that customer to be an active participant and help respond to constraints and, and participate. Uh, and so I think that's probably the biggest, the biggest need is to, is to treat the end customer as, uh, like I said, active participant and uh, you know, be, be, be part of the solution. Definitely. I suppose it speaks to the whole emphasis on customer centricity that we're seeing here at EUW oh, as well. Oh, absolutely, yes. And, and more engagement tools to keep customers in, involved and engaged uh, in ways that they want to be that they want to be engaged with and, and, and participate with. Yeah. Absolutely. Bradley, it's been magic to to chat to you. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Thank you to our viewers uh, for watching at European Utility Week. Thank you.